morning. Today we are going to be reading a story called Water Can Be. And before we read, I want you to pause the video and take a minute and brainstorm different things that you think water can be. And then we're going to compare it to our story and see if any of your ideas match what's said in the story. Okay, so take that minute now, pause the video, and when you're ready, come back and we'll start to read. Okay, so this is the story, Water Can Be. Okay, so let's open the book and find out what water can be. Water is water. It's puddle, pond, and sea. When springtime comes splashing, the water flows free. Look at these beautiful illustrations. You see the water cascading, flowing down. Water can be a tadpole hatcher. You know what tadpoles are? How is it a tadpole hatcher? It's a place where frogs lay their eggs and the tadpoles hatch. And then eventually these little tadpoles are gonna become what? Frogs. It can also be a picture catcher. How is water a picture catcher? Remember we learned in the light unit, the word, when you can see yourself either in a mirror or in the water, she sees her reflection, right? And it looks like a picture. An otter feeder. Right? So animals can also find their food in the water. Some animals eat fish. It can be a downhill speeder. What's a type of water that might flow downhill? A waterfall maybe? A garden soaker. What's happening in this picture? The rain is coming down and it's watering all of the plants in the garden. The so water can help plants grow and help food grow for you, right? Because we eat fruits and vegetables and those grow in a garden. A valley cloaker. Looks like there's a lot of mist or fog, right? And if we remember, Fog and mist is made from water vapor. When the water gets warm and it condenses, right? Right, remember the word condensation? So the water vapor condenses, it comes together and forms like clouds. A thirst quencher. What's the deer doing? Drinking water. So the lake here or the pond can be a way for animals to quench their thirst, to get rid of their thirst. A kid drencher. What are they doing? They're playing in the sprinkler. Have you ever done that? A drink cooler. So if we look inside, you can make drinks, right? Lemonade, iced tea, cherry juice. But what do they put inside to make it cooler? Ice cubes, right? So it can be a drink cooler. How do we make ice? What has to happen to the liquid, to the water, in order to make ice? to freeze it, put it in the freezer, right? You can change the, the matter from liquid 
to solid. A rainbow jeweler. If you remember back from our light unit, right? Light and water. So we have light, the sunlight, and the water drops. When they meet, it can make a rainbow. A homemaker. How is water a homemaker? And a shipbreaker. See all the different animals in the ocean. So the ocean is home to all different animals. What do you see? Jellyfish. Another, I'm not sure what kind of fish these are, but there's different different kinds. A sea urchin. Starfish. This might be some coral. And the shipbreaker, when the water gets really rough. Right? It's not good to be out on the sea in a boat when it's really rough. It can do damage to the ship, can break parts of the ship. Water is water. It's fog, frost, and sea. When autumn comes chasing, water can be a cloud fluffer, a fire snuffer, right? How do we use water when there's a fire? The firefighter sprays the water out of the hose onto the fire and it snuffs it, it puts it out and then it makes a lot of smoke like this. <clears throat> a school drinker. A bruise shrinker. See, they're putting ice on the boo-boos. Have you ever done that? When you get a boo-boo on your knee or your elbow, you put some ice and it keeps it from getting swollen and bruising. A salmon highway, an eagle flyway. <clears throat> so it's a way to, for the fish to know where to travel and the birds, right? The birds can look at it from the sky and follow it. A storm creator or a decorator. So water can make a storm. I think it's supposed to be snow. What do you think? Why do you think it might be snow? I think it's snow because it's all white and on the ground too. It looks white to me, like snow. Plus on this page, it can be a decorator. Does anybody know what it's called? When there's um, like very, very thin layer of ice on your window. It's called frost. So when it's really cold out and there's a little bit of mist or dew in the air or even snow, it might make a frost on your window. A woodchuck warmer, a snow former. Water is water. It's ice, snow, and sea. Now go and discover what else it can be. How did they use the snow? Right, the water became snow, and how are they using it? They made sculptures with the snow, okay? So now I want you to go back to your list and see if anything that you thought of matches what's in the story. And if not, what you can remember from the story and add it to your list, okay? And then you're gonna pick one thing that water can be and draw a picture of it. So 
if you picked um, the rainbow, maybe you might want to draw a picture of the rainbow. If you thought of something else at home, right? Like maybe water can be a hand washer, right? You wash your hands with the water. Think of all the other ways in your um, daily routine that you use water. And draw a picture, write a sentence about your picture and send it to your teachers, okay? Have fun exploring water and finding what it can be. Bye.